Right, so we just landed here in Split, Croatia. This is mine and Woody's second time. We actually met here. Ilka's here as well. And we're super excited for this uh, journey because it's been three months since we ever had like a holiday. And that's quite a long time for us. A lot of stuff has been going down when it comes to my personal life, when it comes to relationships, financials. And we're, we're going to talk about all of that stuff later. But for now, we're quickly going to pick up our car and then we're going to go to the apartment. It's night time, but... We're finally getting our car. So yeah, we got the car, bro. Yeah, it's a smooth little car. I think it was Opal 2022. Smart, uh, yeah, it's driving smoothly. So uh, obviously, we just picked it up from uh, Split Airport. And now we're going to go to the apartment. And yeah, so far, so good, man. Uh, wh what's your plan tonight? Are you going to go out with us or are you just staying in? Um, I think I'll stay in this time round, but um, maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow yeah, night okay, we'll cool. go out together. Yeah. Do you still want to have dinner tonight or not? Oh, yeah, yeah. We should yeah, get okay, pizza yeah. or something. So yeah, we'll quickly uh, drive home. Get some pizza. I'm not sure if we're gonna eat at, at home or if we're gonna go out to eat. And then after that, me and Woody are definitely going out, and um, yeah, Oko will probably just stay home. Late night in split, so we're literally walking to the apartment now. We're gonna drop our stuff off and then uh, we're gonna grab some food. All right, so we're literally here at the apartment. So Oko actually ordered some food for us. It's for like 12 30 now, like it's, yeah, mi it's midnight essentially, good. right? So we're here waiting for food before we're going out, but then now they're not delivering the food. They sh bro, they cancelled that shit. They completely yeah. cancelled it, bro. Look at this guy. He's so innocent. He's tired. He's hungry. He's he's, he's just starving, ready to go bro. to bed. But obviously, me and Willy, we still need to go out. So yeah, we'll, we'll grab food. Do you want to come or not? Maybe, maybe. Let me think about it. Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm currently walking outside here with the main man Woody here. So obviously, um. Oka is staying in bed, but yeah, we decided to explore the nightlife a little yeah. bit, you know, like the city. We'll get some food. Yeah, try to get some food as well. But obviously, the location we're at is more city center, right? Yeah, city center. But then there's this beach area where you can actually explore the nightlife more. It's called like, I don't know how you pronounce it in um, the Croatian language, but it's like Bokfic, Bokfic Beach. And essentially, that's where we were. Uh, in 2021 when we initially uh, met each other yeah. because we actually met each other here in Croatia in Split and um, yeah, basically that's the area we want to go to but it makes more sense to go there by car because otherwise we have to walk for 25 minutes so I'm literally just gonna jump in the car with Woody and then we're gonna drive to it all right so first night is done so Woody just walked home and I drove home so we went to the Buckfish uh, beach just like I already mentioned to you guys and when it comes to this area basically it's completely being rebuilt so there wasn't much to do there there weren't a lot of people at the beach or even at like the nightlife so we just talked to a couple of locals and we ended up going to this underground club and yeah I just started to speak to a couple of workers because inside of the club it was quite dead and uh, yeah i was speaking to the shawty um yeah she was feeling me i was feeling her um i dropped her and her friend home after work so they actually work in that club so um yeah i got a number tomorrow we'll just speak and uh, i'll most likely see her again so we're back now here again so today is the daytime this is actually the first day so we only came here at night time and uh, me and Ilks, we're just walking here. We're about to uh, do some grocery shopping and just explore the area, you know. But before we go, we quickly wanted to show you guys this car here. So this is going to be our car when it comes to this trip. We already drove it. It's quite smooth. Yeah. Like we were just looking for a cheap, cheap car, like just a last minute one, because I've already been here before. And I know like having a car is very useful, especially if you want to go to like all of the other beaches. But yeah, in general, uh, yeah, the car is really smooth. We're definitely gonna enjoy it, and uh, yeah, I see that this guy was already eyeing someone. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. You're imagining it's Victoria. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, of course, of course. But yeah, so this is gonna be your first actual day because he didn't even go out with us. Imagine, yeah, you go to a country, and then uh, first thing you do is you order food, but obviously it didn't come, so he he was like, nah, I'm gonna just sleep. <laughs> Did we record that actually? Yeah. So we ordered food, yeah. and then it got cancelled because they because they don't deliver after midnight. So I just got some credit for it and then I just went straight to bed. I was too tired. Yeah, and then me and uh, Woody, we went out, but obviously it wasn't that busy. But then again, we made the best of it and like we were just like having fun outside. And then someone referred me like this underground club and that's where we went to. But there was no one there, like almost no one there. And you know, like when it comes to those places, 
usually the prettiest women are the ones working there. Yeah. So the ones that were like doing the tickets, uh, yeah, they were the best ones. And funny enough, you know, it was actually seven euros each, but you know, I got yeah. buying for free. <laughs> and this, yeah, and she's working there uh, tonight as well. So I'm, I told her I'm gonna pull up and I'll get a free entry, you know. Yeah. She doesn't know, she thinks I'm coming for her, but I'm just coming she for the free no entry. <laughs> All right, so we're shopping. I think it's going to be breakfast, and then uh, on the way back we'll do some groceries. Probably there's nothing at the apartment. Obviously, we're going to grab some drinks as well. And uh, for me, I always have to grab a Red Bull on vacation because this is my energy source. So we just had some breakfast and now we're gonna go to the main area, right? The city center. City central, yeah. Yeah. Overall, so far, like, for you walking here in the city, on the streets, how do you feel about it? We haven't got to central yet, but it's so quiet so far. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's not many people. Yeah, it is May though. Yeah. Um, but yeah, besides that, like, from what I remember and even like, to yesterday and today, the people here are extremely friendly and um, quite humble. You know, I, I, I like that. I like when people are humble, uh, friendly. They don't really have an attitude like that. Because, bro, it, it's funny. Like online, I act like I'm a, I, I'm a douchebag. <laughs> I've got a huge ego and stuff. But obviously, in real life, it's a bit different. Um, yeah, so it's nice to uh, see that there's places like that out there. You know, like because you you can't say that about every single place. There's a lot of places we've been where people have been a bit arrogant. Like Bucharest was quite good as well. Yeah, for sure. yeah, and uh, yeah, that's just simply something I prefer because I don't only go to countries for like holiday or whatnot. I also like exploring countries for their culture, the people you meet, and I don't know. Those things are also very significant to me. Yeah, bro, this guy uh, was already out here. Uh, I don't know why he's doing so early here. He's hunting before. So I was. Yeah, he's joking. He actually just came now. Oh uh, yeah. So um, should we explore this? Uh, We're gonna city? explore in the sea you now. This is the center. It's fucking packed. Yeah. So yeah, let's explore it. Uh, yeah, we were ready to explore the city, but obviously uh, this guy always needs his morning coffee. Yeah, and, you know, uh, it's got no energy in the morning otherwise. So. But bro, you slept the whole night. I didn't. I actually got like three, four hours sleep. So yeah, same. the bed was really uncomfortable. Bro, I woke up at like eight. I'm surprised you woke up there. You yeah. sleep in. Yeah, bro. My mind has changed. I'm focused. I don't know. No, we're discussing the tours we're gonna do. <laughs> It's slippery, the floor as well. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, the weather is nice here, man. Like, I love the sea. It's just nice to breathe around the sea. And uh, yeah, we're just literally chilling here. This is like the city center. So, like when it comes to Split, it's quite a chill place, especially during daytime. You've got amazing beaches, the city center is quite chill as well. There's quite a lot of old school luxury cars that are literally driving through a, uh, a portal here, which you've probably seen uh, on the B-roll. So yeah, we're literally just chilling here, having a good time, and that's literally what it's all about. This guy, I wonder yes, what yes. he's thinking. Our first day, 
We are, where are we? The Old Town? <laughs> old Town. <laughs> oh yeah, Old Town. I always put them in Old Town. But yeah, we're in the town. The weather is quite nice, you know. First day, we're just gonna, we're just freestyling today. We don't have any plans. But there's a car show, as you can see. Bro, he's literally saying what I'm saying. Oh! Fuck it. Yeah, it's like. What do you think Nah. So as you can see guys, it all could have showed you an area where we're trying to get a picture. But there's an old lady there. We were taking pictures, we took a picture of Janine and then she just came immediately after. Ah, oh, she's actually moving now. Yes, she's moving. <laughs> she's moving. I she, she, you. she, you. she took your spot. Come, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Check out the pictures. It's very easy to take all the pictures here, bro. Look. Nice. Isn't it? Yeah. Try it out, man. Check it out. Picture while you're looking at your watch. Yo, do a watch picture. You're like this. Yo, turn. To the, towards the camera. Do, the, do this. This reminds me of how you walk in your TikToks. <laughs> yeah. Bro, these are the easiest photos to take. You already got a couple of pictures. <laughs> so as you can see here, there's some holy water here. Me and yes, uh, Woody yesterday have been a bit naughty, so uh, we have to wash away our sins. <laughs> Some bad things in our lives before. So, uh, yeah, we have to wash away, we wash away the sins. Yeah, bro. If you ever do anything bad and you want forgiveness, please talk to Creator and wash away your sins in the holy water. The first meal in Split, I got a chicken burger. Chicken burger. What did you get? I got the cheeseburger. Yeah, and I got the big burger. So, we'll just get food here, get a drink, and uh, yeah, we'll, after that, what's the plan? We'll improvise. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, let's go to the beach. Alright, so this is how the big burger looks like. This is how the cheeseburger looks like. This is the chicken burger. No lettuce. No lettuce. Just sauce. <laughs> hey guys, it's the Woody Takeover right now. So the boys have gone and left me, but they didn't leave me. I decided to leave them. They're going to the supermarket. I'm heading back to the crib. So I'm super tired, super drained. I'm running off about three, four hours sleep. Couldn't sleep well last night. So I'm gonna head in, get a nap, so I can get, have some energy for the rest of the day. Young and ready, 
Dressed up. <laughs> Dressed up. What are we going to do, bro? We're going to explore, man. Anything else? We're going to explore. <laughs> no, I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, so basically, uh, yeah, we just had quick dinner. We're just going to head out and explore. Apparently, it's going to rain, so we'll just see what's going to happen. But yeah, today, mainly, we've just been exploring the city center. Like, we've already seen it before. Well, it was nice to see it again. Yeah. Uh, just having a chill day and tomorrow we'll uh, drive around to uh, like one of those beaches and split and just have a good time So me and Woody have already seen the city center before but it was nice to see again after like three years The weather was nice. There was a good vibe there. There was a few interesting things going on such as like Those old cars those luxury old cars that were like driving through that portal and besides that like um, Yeah, we're just gonna explore the surroundings now today is apparently gonna rain but it's still a saturday you know you have to go out on a saturday but unfortunately at the same time today you've got the usik versus fury fight and obviously i'm a huge boxing fan so i have to watch it and i'm sure the other guys will watch it as well so we're gonna head out explore the city explore what's out there after that we'll come back watch the match and after that we're going out again walking here approaching here on the street it's quite jokes right but there's also quite a lot of like old people here and they're all like eyeing us and we're literally entertainment for them all right so we're back at the crib now and uh yeah it's time for us to watch the Usyk versus tyson fury fight so i'm pretty excited about it because like it's, it's a highly anticipated fight and we're literally gonna watch it now here at home have a good time with the lads and then after that we're gonna go out so yeah i want your final prediction before we actually start watching it I think we'll go the distance. I think um, I think Usyk will win. Yeah. So um, what? How? By like decision. I think I think split decision. Split decision. Okay. Yeah. I think it'll be a close. Fair one. enough. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Well, I guess we're gonna find out. All right. So uh, me and uh, Ilkar are literally watching the fight here. My brother Woody is sleeping here, and uh, <laughs> yeah, hey bro, it was a good, good fight. Didn't it? Bro, I really enjoyed it. Very technical. Uh, that's why like very competitive as well. Uh, both of us think uh, Usyk has definitely edged it. Yeah, I think by two points. Yeah, yeah maybe maybe a bit more as well. Depends on how the uh, judges have scored it. Yeah. Because I don't agree with the um, commentator judge. But yeah, I mean, we'll see how it goes. And um, yeah, after this, I think this brother over here, he said like he doesn't want, want to go out, but. This I'm brother, the back up. I'm the back up. But he doesn't even like going out, so either yeah. I'll go out by myself yeah. or he'll come with me. But yeah, we'll see. Leave my bro alone, you know? Yeah. Like, if Worst case, it's okay, bro. I'll go. I'll go. But yeah, it's what it is. What day is it? Day two? Yeah, it's day two now. Great weather today. Alright, so this is the next day. So um, you've got Woody over here. Ilka and uh, we're actually just about to uh, walk here towards the city center explore what's out here because it's not that late it's currently like 11 a.m. so uh, we're still in the morning time but the weather is nice so we're like yeah let's just explore the city area see what's out there and then after that most likely we're just gonna go to the beach Welcome to Split again, now face to face. Uh, I told you my name, but I never said my age. <laughs> well, considering 16. that I literally lived in... Can I guess? Yeah. 20. Uh, <laughs> I feel like 2045, and now I will explain why. You guys want to eat something? So this breakfast for the day, it was 3 euro 50. Yeah, not bad. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Did you take care? I actually like it. High quality is open. Nice. Thank you. 
He's a killer. Oh, is he? <laughs> He's looking for his next target. <laughs> my, my daughter's got one back in Australia. Yeah. Oh, yes. They're so noisy. They just bark all the time. Yes. Oh, my God. How, how do you deal with it? I don't know. Whenever, whenever I go there, I've been there, I visit there all the time. Still, he, she barks at me every time I go. So I have to go. Oh, okay. Come and, come and look. Then she licks me and then she's right. Okay, perfect. Where are you guys from? Uh, we're from London. London? Yes. Oh, okay. Have you ever been there? Yeah, yeah. I've been to London several times. It's a nice little place. Yeah, it's cool. Well, I was born in the Netherlands. Born in the Netherlands, yes. but living in London. Yes, that's correct. Good man. You know, we're, we're traveling from Australia. Yeah, I know a lot of Australians, like... There's lots in the UK. Yeah, lots of them. Our son lived there for two years. And uh, he loved it. We went and visited him. He used to live in Bethnal Green. You know where that is? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. not far from where I used to live. Oh, Bethnal Green. Oh, yeah, yeah that's yeah. in uh, London, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I used to live in Shoreditch. In? In Shoreditch. I used to live near. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Clear, close to Bethnal Yeah, not too far. Now we went to visit. We had a great time. I love, I love London. Yeah, it's a nice place. It's a great city. Love uh, yeah. Brick would... Lane and all those places. Yeah. It's so nice. To visit. I want to go to Australia, but it's so far. <laughs> it is. It's But you can break up the trip. Yeah, true. You can. You, like we fly from Melbourne to Dubai, yeah. that's 13 and a half hours. And then we fly from Dubai to wherever, London, Paris. Yeah. So we flew from Dubai to Paris this time. Okay. So that was another seven and a half hours. Yeah, okay, then it's not but too bad. You can break it up, you can stop at Singapore, you know, yeah. have a couple of days there, stop at Dubai. I, I don't fancy being in Dubai in yeah. 45 degree temperatures. You know? But uh, you can stop in uh, you can stop in Singapore, which is really nice. Is, is it hot in Singapore? Or? It is. It's sticky. Sticky. Yeah. It's the usual, you know, tropical climate. Yeah, of course. Thailand, Singapore, but look, as as you know, uh, Vietnam, all those places can be. But they're really hot and sticky. How long are you here for? Uh, until 23rd. So like, oh, we've got a couple more days. Yeah, we're going to Dubrovnik tomorrow. Oh, okay. And then heading back. To you're here with family? Or? You're here with family? Um, yeah, my wife is just standing there. She's wondering, who's this guy talking to? <laughs> <laughs> she, she said, you talk to everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, not, right, yeah. it's nice to connect. That's what holidays yeah. are. That's what holidays are. No, no, I mean, we've got kids. We've got four kids in Australia. And we've got ten grandchildren. So they keep us very busy. Yeah, no, of course, I can imagine. <laughs> but we love traveling too. And two dogs that cause us problems when we're traveling. <laughs> yeah, of course. Right. Yeah. Good yeah, it was to lovely to uh, meet you. Yeah. Good to meet yeah. you, guys. Nice to meet you. Take care. Take care. Nice to meet you. Didn't even ask about the camera and I pointed it. Yeah, you randomly that's pointed. But, I mean, yeah, that's yeah. literally what it's all about. Holidays, you uh, randomly speak to people, you connect with people and uh, yeah, you just literally have a good time. So we're just literally chilling here in the city center. Weather's nice today and uh, yeah, that's literally it. All right, so guys, we're off to uh, the beach. This is the first time of us driving at daytime. So this is day number three. Obviously, we came quite late at day number one. So I'm not sure if that really counts. But regardless, we're going to go to a beach club now and uh, we're going to enjoy it there. So we've just arrived at the beach. Ilke is here, Woody is over there. And um, yeah, let me show you the beach. Absolutely love a yacht and soon we'll get one ourselves as well. Did 
just swam a little bit inside of the hotel. Apparently, you're not allowed to swim there, right? But um, there's ways to uh, finesse the system. But this guy, Woody over here, he said to the person, we're at room 205, but like, he did, he did pull it for a while, then he actually yeah. checked. <laughs> but it's all good. We, we still utilize their utility. And uh, that's literally what it's all about. We finesse the system. Yeah. And uh, every time we do it, it just feels good. <laughs> That's one of three minutes. Fuck! Three was that one. three minutes? Three one. I don't know. I, 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 too late at the end, I found my rhythm a bit more. <laughs> but it's weird because we're not using face, it's just touching and shit. Yeah, know? body touch. So we just had a little bit of a leisure time here at this hotel with a beach. So how was it? It was, it was okay. It wasn't too bad. We were speaking to some staff that said it's a quiet season. So there wasn't much people, so pretty much had it to ourselves plus some other folks, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah, I mean, they did say that um, in terms of like, um, it's, it's like May and October, it's more quiet, but then in the other months, it's way more busier. But they, they actually recommend to come during May and October because there's less tourists, so it's easier to navigate and explore if that's something you want to do in Split. Right, good morning it's a new day here and i literally just did a little bit of work because the grind never stops so uh, i've got this new business where i've got quite a lot of employees around like 20 people so i have to manage quite a lot of people i have to do quite a lot of things so even though i'm here on holiday with the boys i still have to put in the work so uh, basically uh, our car got towed away uh, recently so we're gonna collect it Bro, I was just innocent, driving like a good boy, but obviously they saw the car and uh, they jinxed us. They're but... hasty, bro. <laughs> yeah. They saw that car, they're just looking for an excuse. Yeah, nice, all good, bro. But yeah, <laughs> Woody was stressing and uh, he was like, yeah, hey, bro, we need to find the car, this and that. I was like, I was, I was actually working, so I was like, whatever, you know? Yeah. But then the moment he found a honey, uh, <laughs> obviously he dipped. So uh, yeah, it's just me and the Ilks with that. And yeah. we're literally going to grab the car we now. I thought it might be stolen. Initially. Nah. At least Woody did. Yeah. But yeah, I'm glad we checked immediately. So uh, we finally found the car again. That's like 59 to uh, pay him, and then we have to pay 15 euros to the police. It's not bad, but it's part of the experience. If you want to be exceptional, sometimes uh, you have to break the rules. But it's all good, you know. Until we got the car, and uh, yeah, that's literally it. Here, still grinding. The grind never stops, but we have to enjoy the view. 
So uh, apparently this is one of two malls. There's a bigger uh, mall than this one, right? Yeah, it's split north. I think it's bigger mall than split. Yeah, but how's this one? This one's okay. I was here earlier. Uh, there's a few options for food and yeah, we'll check it out. Okay. Hey, what's this, bro? Why are you in uh, Mexico? Yeah, cute man, cute man, bro. Exposing. <laughs> so basically, it's been exposed. We're good people. We're, we don't condone what's happening, right? And then we see this guy in Mexico. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. We're still gonna sit here, but <laughs> what are you guys doing? Uh, I got the car back. Ah, oh, yeah. How did you get? Uh, I stole it back, bro, from the government. <laughs> Is yeah. getting some bikes? Nah, bro, listen, I was like, we might as well buy one just for like a few days. It's not that expensive. It's only like 3k. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Not bad. Clean. Only 3k, bro, I'll take it. Alright, good morning, good morning. It's a new day. I'm just quickly taking care of myself. As usual, doing my skincare. I'm doing my skincare. So I've currently put some serum on my face because you know, you've got to take care of yourself. So Ilka is out there and he's at the mall whilst Woody is just going for a walk. And I would love to join them, but obviously these are the sacrifices you have to make if you want to be exceptional. Because I've got to work, I've got to put in the work to make sure that I get to the level I want to be at. And a lot of times people don't see this part of life. They always see the highlights, but they never see the 16 hour work days they never see the stress and all of the effort you have to put in to become successful and i want you to know that nothing in life comes easy nothing comes by accident you have to put in the work because i remember a couple of years ago i wished i was in a position where i can literally just travel around with my friends have a good time whilst at the same time make money and just create amazing memories i remember being in my room thinking that this is the type of life I want, but I just don't have that life. And that's when I just put in a lot of effort. I literally did not know how to do it, when it would come and how I would make it work. But I had this insane drive. I was delusional, arrogant, egotistical, as some people would say. And the reason I had to be this way is because if I didn't believe in myself, no one would believe in me. And that's the mindset that you must have if you want to succeed as well. And I believe that everything happens for a reason. I believe that God gives the most difficult task to those he loves the most. And for example, the last few months haven't been really easy for me. But then again, I know that most people would have already given up. And I've always told myself that I am the man. I am that guy. And, and if the chance presents itself for me to prove it, I have to prove it to myself. And that's where my confidence comes from. It, it isn't based on nothing. It's based on the times where you're struggling and you're going through hardships and you're telling yourself that it will be okay. You're telling yourself that this is your chance and opportunity to prove to yourself that you are the man that you say you are. And life is funny in some regards because everything happens at the same time. Whether it's financials, relationships, your health, it does not matter. For some reason, when you're struggling, everything happens at the same time. But if you're willing to push through and showcase to yourself that you are willing to make any sort of sacrifice to get to the destination you want to go to. Because look, I don't come from a wealthy family. I come from nothing. I wasn't born with insane genetics. I put in the work to become more attractive. And if you are someone that's willing to do the same in the long term, you will get rewarded. Because a few months ago, I was in a completely different space than I am right now. And all of this happened through effort through self-dedication, through belief, through putting in the effort year in, year out. Because you need to remember, I started my YouTube channel in 2017 and now we are in 2024 and I'm still posting, I'm still putting in the work. And besides that, I'm, that's not the only thing I'm doing. I'm running two, three other businesses and I'm constantly putting in the work because I know that in the long term, it will pay off. But yeah, that's a little bit of wisdom for you. And if you guys want me to make more videos related to these topics, just let me know in the comment section down below because I love to talk about motiv motivation. I love to talk about mindset because I know way more than most people, but I just never speak about these type of topics because I don't always feel like there's a need for people to hear it. But since I struggled with a couple of things in the last few months and I've overcome them, it just made me realize that I might not be the only person out there going through stuff and having this platform helps me to open up to a lot of other men 
Because I know a lot of us are struggling with our own problems and sometimes all we need to hear is that everything will be all right. Sometimes all we need to hear that you just have to put a little bit more effort in. You, everything will be okay. Just push through and all of these little things just add up. And, and this way I can show to you that all of us are humans. I go through stuff, you go through stuff. But the difference is to how we accept the reality, the actions we take to get the results that we want. But yeah, enough said. Now let me do some work. Oaks got us some protein shakes because I already drank like three of them. One, one has like 50 grams each because I was starving and I, I, I drank like three and yeah, 18 hours. Yeah, you finished all of them, bro. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even have to get to have one. Yeah. <laughs> now, but bro, I can't lie. Usually these ones are not that good, but th this one's okay. Yeah, like, like your taste. You, you had one as well. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. And so it's the next day. So yesterday we were pretty much just work. I was pretty much working. And then after that, we went out, had a good time. But yeah, today we're actually going to a boat party. But yeah, before we go, I'm hungry. I need me some kebab. You know? So I'm going to my Albanian brother. He's going to hook us up. And then after that, we're going to the boat party. It was our last day. How are you feeling? Yeah, last day, got a boat trip coming up. Yeah, we'll see how it goes, bro. How are you feeling about the last day? It sounds sad, bro. I'm excited. Good boat good. trip, we're getting kebab now. Uh, yeah, it's been good so far. How's the food? Proper good. Croatia's finest, made by Albanians. He's a cool guy as well. Yeah, 100%, he's super cool. Uh, he's actually someone that's really into hair. So he's been criticizing my hair. I'm like, bro. I make hair care videos, but he's criticizing my hair and it's actually giving me good feedback, so I appreciate it. So it's the next day and we're literally now at the airport and this is pretty much it when it comes to the split vlog. 
So when it comes to going to split during May, because we went in the beginning season, yeah. it's not like there's a lot of people, so you can do anything and everything you want to do. So in that regard, it's really good. But if you're someone that's looking more of a party life, I would recommend June, July, August, and maybe even September. So we're literally just flying back to London. Tomorrow, I'm going to a different place. That's more of a business-related trip. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate your time, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye, bye.